I'm Chef Neil. Welcome to GSD Friendly Recipe Cooking. Um, we are going to make a really beautiful pizza here. So you've seen how we made the mar marinara sauce. Now we're going to put it to use. So we're going to make a cauliflower pizza. The first thing you need to do is to preheat your oven to 160 degrees fan, non-fan 180. Okay, I've already made the pizza, so I'm going to show you. You're going to get one eighth of this pizza as a portion here. I'll cut it up later on and show you how to do it. So the first thing we need to do is to take a cauliflower. So what we've done with the cauliflower is we've taken the florets off and I've just chopped them up a little bit here, okay? And then I'm going to put them into a, um, a jug or something like that. And I'm going to take a hand blender and I need to blend them smooth, okay? So just put your hand blender in and push down. There you go. And it'll start to blend it down. There you go. You can see it's starting to come up the sides there. Okay. Okay, if you have like a bigger blender and you want to do it that way, feel free. Okay. So as, the, as it starts to blend, the liquid starts to come out of it. There we go. Just take a little while, so don't worry. You can see how it's starting to. The cauliflower at the bottom is still whole, but this bit here is starting to mash down and it's starting to go really soft into a soggy thing. Oh, there we go. You can see now how it's freely moving inside. I'm just going to take a blender here and I'm just going to take a spatula and I'm just going to give it a little scrape just to get the other bit off the bottom. There we go. And then just can put it back in. One more, two more pushes, and we'll be there. That's perfect. That's what we're looking for. There you are. Now you can see how it's just pushing through it. And it's starting to squish up the sides. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So we've got like a nice cauliflower paste here. Now the problem was, if we were to use this straight away, we the water would seep out, and we'd end up with a really soggy pizza. Okay, so I'm just gonna off the excess off there, and then I'm just gonna take myself a, a, a cloth. You can have a little bit of muslin cloth, or you can have like a little bit of a tea towel. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna scrape the whole mixture into there, there we go, perfect, so it's a nice piece, as you can see, there you are, there's no little bits in it, okay, that's it, nice and smooth, and then I'm just going to pull it together in the middle of that, and then I'm just going to turn it, and what you'll see is you'll start to see the liquid of the cauliflower juice start to come out of it. So it's just a couple of turns, press out the excess liquid. So that's what we're moving, that cauliflower liquid there. Okay. Then take yourself a bowl and then put the rest of the mixture of the cauliflower into there. Okay, so that's the cauliflower puree there, all, all pureed down. Okay, let's just get rid of that part now. And then the next bit is the best part is when we um, put in the cheese. So I've got some um, mozzarella cheese into there. I've got myself a little parmesan. Okay, I've got some crushed garlic here. Yeah, if you want to use some garlic salt or use something else into there, you can. I've, I've crushed fresh garlic into there as well. I've got myself some um, Italian mixed herbs into there as well. Okay, got salt and pepper. And now I'm just going to get myself my eggs. Yeah, crack my two eggs into there. There we go. And then 
I'm just going to give them a little beat them up. And then I'm just going to fold them into the mixture here. Okay. Now this pizza is really good. It's got a great taste to it as well. And then what you're going to do is just combine the two together. So you come up with like a nice sticky dough. Just make sure all the cauliflower, egg and cheese is well combined in there. There we go. Look at that. So there's your base for your cauliflower. Can you see how nice and smooth it is? Yeah, there's no lumps. There's loads of lovely cheese in there. Lots of great flavor. So I'm just going to take myself um, a pizza tray, okay? I'm going to line it. So I'm just going to make myself a little cartouche for this there, a little lining for it, okay? Into the middle, want a circle, that size, okay? There we go. And then I'm just going to pour the whole mixture on the top of the grease plus paper. There we go. Make sure you get every last little bit out. Okay. There we go. And then I'm just going to spread it over the top of the pizza, over the greaseproof tray. I want a nice circle with it. So I'm just going to go right up to the edges of the greaseproof paper. Okay. There we go. Just smooth it out. Okay. So this is what your base looks like. There we go. There we are. Okay, so it looks a bit like that. So remember that marinara sauce we made? That's the bit we're going to use next. So I'm just going to take my marinara sauce and I'm just going to put one, two, three spoonfuls on there. Okay, I can keep it. And then I'm just going to spread it over the top of the pizza. Okay, so that's that marinara sauce we made in the other one. There we are. Just spread it over the top. There you go. Whoa, it smells great. I love the smell of those herbs and the garlic. Next, I'm going to add all my cheese onto the top. There we go. And just spread the cheese out on the pizza. Okay, now I always put my cheese on first on, on top of a pizza, yeah? I never put the filling on the top of it and then put the cheese on. I always like this way. Okay. So I've got some broccoli here, which I've cut, cut. So I've taken the broccoli and I've just cut it into some really nice, thin little shapes. There we go. So that's the broccoli on top of my pizza as well. All right, and then I've got my mushrooms. So I will add my mushrooms in there just to make it look really nice. I'm gonna do it upside down. There you go. I've got my oven preheat. I'm going to put it in the oven. Yeah, and I'm going to cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes until it's nicely cooked. There you go. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, really looks nice. Quite simple to do. Put it into the oven. And there we go. So I've got one that I made earlier. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so we get eight equal sizes out of this. So we cut it in half. We cut it into that size, and there you go. And that is the size of the pizza that you can get. So I'm going to cut the other bits into four each. And there we go. And now I've got eight slices of fantastic GSD-friendly cauliflower, broccoli, and cheese pizza. Okay, look at that. It's really good to use, really simple to do, and you know, tastes absolutely fantastic. I hope you've really enjoyed this recipe. Look forward to showing you some more later on. Chef Neil.